Hey guys, well, if you're watching, then you're, you like me. Well, um, <laughs> my name's Drew and uh, <laughs> beer for breakfast, facts for snacks here. And I said, well, you got to get some of these beers out, right? You got And you're like, after High Fidelity, you did that one. And as you could see the title, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let me explain for a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to this side right here. Okay. These guys took over Ontario, okay? And I'm talking about Lakeport. Lakeport Brewery. I'm doing Lakeport Honey. Lakeport Honey right there, okay? 5% alcohol. Uh, here, like, every once in a while, you got to try something different. I ain't got a 12-pack right here, okay? All right, so listen to me here. In 2007, Lakeport was taken over by InBev Can Canadian uh, Subsidiary Labatt. Uh, three years later, Embev closed the Hamilton Brewing Plant, uh, which, which, let me, um, let me get to this, I'm going to read, and shifted production to Lakeport Beers to the Labatt Plant in London, Ontario, Canada. Now, it was, okay, where Labatt was in Hamilton is now where Collective Arts is, my favorite brewery right now. That's where, that's where Lakeport brewed all their beers. Uh, right here. Uh, and in February of 2007, Labatt Brewery, owned by InBev, or InBev, right, uh, purchased Hamilton Lakeport Brewery for 201, let me say I get $201 million. Whoa. Excuse me. That's it. Okay. More coming up. That's Sloppy Joe's. Mm -hmm. um, in March of, it should also be noted here that Collective Arts bought much of their current equipment from. Oh, well, okay, well hold on. so I didn't know that. I didn't know the Collective Arts. Okay, Ben's beer blog. Oh, yeah, I know who he is. Uh, Lakeport Brewing. Yep, there it is. Uh, announced that they would be closing him in Ontario. Sorry, it's pretty old, but uh, it looks like Collective Arts bought a lot of their pro pro uh, products, like all their stuff. Okay. Lakeport was taking over everything back then. Okay, in like 2003, 2004, that they got so big, they were selling bottles of these in like, 2000, like 15 years ago. 2021. So, yeah, 15, 16 years ago, they were selling bottles, 24 bottles, for twenty three sixty. Include That's including the deposit. And when I was working in the garbage industry, and then I quit for a little bit and went to, uh, uh, I became a drywaller, a framer drywaller, um, I would, uh, we would go every couple of days, go get a case. And, and I was making good money back then. I was making, back then I was making like 24, 25 bucks an hour, and I, a two, four. Like one hour work and uh, two for like, I I would always buy Lakeport. If it wasn't honey, it would be like the it would be the Pilsner ice or uh, I don't think the ice was out then. Pilsner or red, and they also had light and it was so good. Twenty three sixty, and they're just selling so much that Labatt got sick of it and bought them out. Now, um, that was sixteen years ago. There's twenty three sixty. That was less than a buck a beer, okay, bottles. Now, a 2.4 is 38.50. So I'm thinking it goes up about 75, 80 cents a year. A case, a, a, one case goes up 80 cents a year. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get into this, okay? Uh, sorry for the rant. I, sometimes these things have to be done. Calorie-wise, who wants to know about calories for Lakeport Honey? One bottle, 341 mil, 153 calories. Whew. Holy shit. Uh, where is, um, hold on, because I want to know how many carbs. You want to show me carbs? Not gonna show, oh, 12.5 carbs. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, so, like I said, uh, um, 2.5905. Not very many people like it. It's brewed in London, Ontario now. 
uh, they took over the they took over the market. I'm telling you, for about three years, and that's it. We're buying them out, uh, especially because they wanted to be the cheapest out there. I did Steeler uh, in my review way back then. If you haven't seen that, check that out, Steeler. It's, I used to buy the bottles all the time, but it now only comes in 950 mil can, like this massive can for like 495. Love it, love Steeler. Let's get in a Lakeport honey, guys. Guys, beautiful can, beautiful can. Uh, this is what I used to drink all the time back then. Um, five percent alcohol. This four hundred seventy-three mil. It cost me forty-seven ninety-five uh, a couple weeks ago, and I still have some. I don't drink it all the time. It's not my favorite, but I still, but I still support my Labatt. Or I mean my my Lakeport because I do. I did love them back then. I would drink them right now. Um, I bought this uh, two two weeks ago, and I still have like twelve beers left. It go from there. Anyways, let's get into this beer and tell you what's in it, okay? Wow, oh, my glasses aren't very clean. I'm pissed off over. All right, guys. Lots of head. All right. It's filtered. A lot of upside down snowfall. Okay, so you get a little bit of hoppy, a little bit of breadiness in this. A little bit of breadiness, a little bit of sweetness. Now I don't know if they, I don't think they because of the price and this and that and the, how how much the prices of uh, the to make a beer now uh, if they use pure honey. I doubt it. They probably have some sort of fake honey out there that or something that tastes like honey and they just throw it in, and and, and th th there you go. Unless you're going to get like this really expensive honey beer, uh, yeah, it, it's probably. Uh, authentic honey does that make any sense maybe maybe not who cares this is Lakeport I'm doing a Lakeport video for you guys um <laughs> readiness a little bit of hoppiness I, I get no IVUs I don't like on here um and a little bit of sweetness that's all I'm getting nice upside down snowfall though it is. Let's go in for a taste for you guys because you know what? You guys might just go to the liquor store, LCBO, and go, hey, I want to try a Lakeport honey because of Drew. And you're welcome because I buy this once in a while. And my next one is going to be uh, Lakeport Ice and Lakeport Pilsner and Lakeport Red, Lakeport Light. I'm going to do all those reviews for you guys, minus the whole speech on whatever the whole thing because, you know, but it's pretty cool that Collective Arts is brewing there now where Lakeport used to be. Let's get into this, guys. Alright. That's a chuggable beer. It's light. It's crisp. A little bit of sweetness at the end. A lot of breadiness. A little bit of sweetness would be that possibly fake honey? I don't know. I don't get any information on what kind of honey they use. Maybe it's honey from China. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe that's the cheapest honey they could buy for it or pick up for this. But realistically, if you're sitting back and you just want to get hammered, Lakeport is a way to go. There's no aftertaste in this like there is in Budweiser, Bud Light, Canadian, Coors Light. This is just your perfect, perfect lager. And there's a nice little sweetness. It's very tasteful. It's very, very, um, it's good. It's really good. So if you guys want to try something different, honestly, just go pick up a six pack of bottles because I'm not telling you to buy 24 tall cans like I did. Lakeport Honey, guys, try something different. And don't make fun of me for doing, oh, that's a Labatt product. Uh, yeah, it is for the last 14 years. But 14 years ago, this was the number one selling beer in Ontario. Think about that for a while. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow night after I get home from work. So I don't know if I'm working overtime or not, but if I get home, I'll have one up by four. If you don't see one up by four, you know I'm working overtime. There'll be one up by eight. Have a great night. Be safe. And also, try something different. Oh, rating. Oh, I can't forget about rating, guys.
seven eight. That's an excellent, excellent lager. In summertime, when you're sweating, you get home from work and you're sweating big time, you could suck back six or seven of those, no problem at all. I'm doing a seven eight with this, and if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry. This is an excellent, excellent honey lager. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow night, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cheers.